Welcome to the AI for Good Global Summit. I'm now delighted to be joined by Ben Goetzel, who is the CEO and founder of Singularity Net. Hi, Ben. Hey, good to be here. So tell me, um, your robots are known internationally, they're famous. What kind of guidelines on AI are needed and how can we ensure they're adopted internationally? AI is not really a simple technology nor a single technology. There's a great variety of different AI algorithms, structures, and, and systems. I don't think any single simple set of guidelines is going to be possible because the technology is just changing so so rapidly. And even the border between AI and you know less intelligent software processes or hardware devices is not terribly clear, nor is the border between intelligent tools and autonomous systems incredibly clear. I think it's more important to have the right set of processes that will allow people as a collective to, you know, shape sort of micro guidelines for AI in, in, in different domains as, as things evolve. I don't think you can really regulate AI with a, with a blunt instrument like you can, you know, n nuclear materials or bioweapons or something like that. So how can AI powered robotics like yours help to achieve the SDG goals? So there's a lot of SDG goals, so that, that, that really becomes quite, quite a, long, a long answer. I mean, you, if, you, if you look in, say, climate, there's, there's all sorts of ways that AI can help regulate smart power, AI can help measure carbon sequestration, which allows the carbon credit e economy to, to work. If you, look at, if you look at combating hunger, I mean, there's vertical farming, which can be optimized by, by AI helping to operate ver vertical farms. And there's AI powered drones that can deliver food to remote regions. So I think you could go through each sustainable development goal and articulate literally dozens of ways that AI and robotics could help right now. The issue is more that this isn't where the resources are going. The resources are going into selling, killing, spying, and, and crooked Wall Street gambling in various forms, rather than the bulk of of AI resources going into doing good for the world. So the obstacle to using AI to do good for the world right now isn't so much technology limitations nor good ideas. It's just that the way resources are, are globally allocated, most AI is being done by a few large companies that are just following the mandate to maximize shareholder value rather than to benefit the world. And that, bearing that in mind then, so what would you say are the most exciting developments in AI right now? Everyone's obviously hot for large language models, which are, 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 are very exciting. Um, and I'm very interested in the next step of development there, because I think what we're going to see in the next year is a lot of hybridization of large language models with other sorts of AI systems, such as AI logic engines that can do reasoning based on, 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 on facts and evolutionary learning systems that can create things that are more fundamentally novel by connecting large language models with logic engines, evolutionary learning systems, other sorts of AI methods, we should get AI systems that are more and more robust than the LLMs we're seeing now. And then we can roll these out through all sorts of hardware devices, right? Both human, humanoid robots, you know, robot dogs like we're seeing all over at, at this AI, AI for good event, but also just IoT, IoT and embedded devices all, all over the place. And so this it's going to be a variety of different, very exciting developments, and they're going to roll out faster and faster and faster over the coming years. That's for sure. Ben, thanks very much for your time. So that's Ben Goetzel, who is the CEO and founder of Singularity Net. Thanks again. Thank you.